We're going to have a little thing. Yeah. Called turkey hunting. Yeah, we're going to do a little thing this morning. It's called turkey hunting. Uh, we're going to do things a little different this morning. Yeah. It's my buddy Clay. And uh, we're going to let him run the show. I'm going to leave all my calls in the truck. Clay's a pretty, pretty good turkey hunter. And so we're gonna, we're gonna put them to the test this morning. I don't know. We're we gonna see. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave my owl hooter, my turkey calls, everything in the truck. And uh, we're gonna let him see what he can do. Supposedly there's a bird roosted out here on this ridge. We, th we think we heard one gobble here yesterday evening. We're not sure, but we're gonna go out there and set up and and then uh, if nothing, then we'll get on the run if nothing's out there. Oh, I should be letting you tell us that. What's, what's, what's the plan here this morning? I'm going to walk across this field and uh, sit on a tree and hopefully knock one in the mouth here in a minute. Okay. Well, once it gets daylight, of course. Yeah, not in a minute. <laughs> we, we got about an hour and a half before sunrise. Yeah. All right, okay. so we'll see you guys at the tree, I reckon. And then uh, Clay's going to narrate it from here. I'm not even going to say a word. Uh-oh. All right, what's that? Just off the, just off the top of this ridge into the wood line, and hopefully he's roosted just right over here. Cause if he was, if he came off this ridge yesterday evening, he could pitch into a tree without even hardly flapping a wing. So all he got to do is just drop down, and then he's back into the field. So hopefully we can cut him off before he gets there. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky. Yeah. Cause I mean. He could land in the field. We're on the side of the steep hill. He could actually be roosted anywhere around here. We're just assuming he's down there. Yeah, we're assuming he's right over here. But he might be back there. He might be behind us. We just gotta wait. Yeah, hopefully he gobbles soon. Yeah. Well, just heard the go first gobble. He's right down here off this, basically off the little cliff here. And he might be on the back side because it sounded pretty muffled. It wasn't nice and clear like a straight line of shot. So we're going to sit here and make a few calls here in a few minutes and see if we can get him going. Yeah, that's ours. You hear that other one? Yeah, I heard one across the road after oh. you. Yeah, ours is like down there. He's like, no, he's, he's like straight ahead, but down. he's off the back of this hill here. It's really quiet, but he gobbled to your, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. He's exactly. just slightly, yeah, yeah. slightly yeah. to the like right of your barrel or almost to where your barrel's pointing. He's within a hundred yards. And the other one gobbled across the road first. Yeah. That's this is this actually one. sitting up pretty good, considering. Yeah. Because he may just pitch down and come right on the side hill. Yeah, here. right on the side of the hill. Be nice if he comes right in front of that clump of brush. Yeah. Just uh, there's a lot of steamy stuff, so. Steamy, high stem yeah. count stuff. I've been sitting here long enough now. I'm starting to cool off. Yeah. Sitting here, got to pee. <laughs> Put your gun down, roll over to your right and piss before he comes in. Here he comes, he's flying to us. He just flew down to us. Hey. Mm -hmm. What a turkey? Yep, right there. Oh yeah, right below us. It looks like a gobbler. It's a hen. She's down there preening herself. Looks like she's got like white tip tail feathers. This down below is to your right. There's a hen right there in the tree. Oh, 
he's close. Lower your butt so I can feel my rear shoulders. Far away. Did you miss him? Yep. <laughs> I think he pitched into a tree. He did. Well, how you miss? Oh, <laughs> I missed the last two birds I've shot at. Have you checked your gun? Yeah. I don't even know if I had him on camera. He, he popped up. I could see him right here to the yeah, left. Right here. Oh, uh, then I didn't have him. I had him right here. Was he nervous or? Yeah, he looked like he was fixing it. He was heading down. Yeah, I was sitting like this. I just <laughs> slid in position. I'm just sitting here. All of a sudden, he comes walking up. Yeah, he comes walking up, freaking behind that tree. I couldn't see him. And he stepped out. He looked nervous and he was heading down. I bet it's the one that was roosted out here. I think he dropped down and walked right across. I'm sorry I didn't get that on that shot on video because that's the big tree was right in my, yeah. here's the issue this tree is in my way and your body is taking this whole gap yeah so i have nowhere to and i was and i saw him pop up right here yeah and so i just stuck my camera out like that so he may be in frame i don't know yeah then he went behind this tree and i seen him right here yeah he's behind a smaller tree and he stopped there for a few minutes and then, yeah, a few, well, a few seconds, and then he got nervous, and he started walking down, and he got in that clearing right there, and I took a shot. I don't know. I saw him. I, him. Just, I saw a bird go out. Yeah, and that was him. He he flew. You sure it was out. him, and he didn't fall to the ground. A different bird didn't pick out. We, we will check, but I'm pretty sure that was him. Well, after that debacle, we're gonna go down to the truck and see if we can cross the creek, and uh, we had a bird goblin way over here this morning so I'm not saying I missed but Shane pinched me when I went to shoot so kind of missed him. Well, so I found out you were shooting a little 28 gauge that's why you missed you threw one yep. one one pellet of TSS out. That's an ounce and a half going at him <laughs> but uh, there, there was a bird goblin pretty good over here and we think uh, he's up in a draw up in there and we could probably get to him so how, how tight is your pattern at that range because he was like 15 yards away it looked like probably softball volleyball yeah. so it was there's a lot of things going a lot of things that could have happened but hey that's two birds and two shots i've missed so don't make the it guns three. Are, the guns on don't make it three times <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah we stopped at this other uh parking lot we was getting ready and Coyote howling and heard a bird up here on the top of the ridge up here. So, so we was getting ready to walk across. We seen the gentleman leaving his house. We asked him if we can cut through his property. And he said he don't give a crap. So, uh, <laughs> so he, he used other words. He but. used other word, but, but uh, so we just cut through, but now we just gotta make our way up. Hopefully he's not on the side to heal. You want a coyote howl here? And, uh, yeah, we'll try to give it a shot. Let people hear you coyote howl. Oh Lord. <laughs> Well, you got a bird to gobble. Not that good. So well, let's see what we got here. You just basically got the howl down. You don't yeah, have the ba bark. Basically the howl, not the bark. Oh, the howl is what works, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, just gobble. He's over the top. So yeah, he's he's up on top. So I think we're gonna be good getting up there. Yeah, we were concerned that if he was around the edge there he could see us coming up the side hill but he's up he's on top he's up on top so we gotta try to try to figure a way up this mountain so all right let's all do right. it let's do it
That wasn't a bad coyote hound, man. They got him a gobble. Hey. Give him a gobble. Not a Shane Simpson, but <laughs> it'll work. We don't need authenticity. We just need a bird to gobble. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, he ain't going nowhere. With you. That's why I was telling you. You don't need to be in a hurry and run up this mountain. About to kill me back here. He's been up there for the last hour. He ain't going nowhere. This way, I'm gonna walk the edge. That's what I'm thinking at this point. It's gonna be a little steeper, but go ahead and go up it, knock it out, take a little quick break. Yeah. And inside here. Right? Yeah. Because he's, where is he at? Over that he's way? Over, over that way. We don't wanna get too close to the top where yeah. it flattens out. There's a field up there, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try to see if we can get him again. Echo. Unless it was that car. I didn't hear it. I heard it at the end of the, the howl echo into yeah. the woods. I heard. This is, it may not have been him, but it sounded like one. There he went. Yeah. That sounds like dog crap. I don't know. I was about to say something. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't sound as good as it did on the bottom of the hill. The first one. <laughs> I gave it all on that first one. That first one, when, when I wasn't recording, sounded really good. <laughs> it's the last couple that haven't sounded. It sounded like that thing bounced off of that one. Uh, he's, he's like, I think he's like yeah. right up that yeah. way. Yeah. What's it doing there? All right. We're fixing it. We're going to move up these rocks up here. Uh, we're probably up there another 150 yards or so past these rocks we're gonna get up there with owl hoot see if we can get him to gobble again uh, he's probably up on the top of the hill in the field so we're gonna stay below below the, uh, the crest here try to get around him get to a good spot where we can call him in so this uh, hill this hill's a joke huh uh, oh we came oh. from way down there so flatlander yeah, Florida guy. Yeah, Florida guy. I don't like these hills. I don't like them either. I've been hunting them for years, but <laughs> they're fun to hunt. Yeah. But they require some effort. Yeah. Listen, I thought I heard him gobble. Yeah. <laughs> he's way down there. Yeah. Well, I don't think he's that far. He's just on top of the hill. Well, we're gonna run out of property here in a little bit. Another two or three hundred yards. Yeah, I think he's right there with that. He's gobbling too much to have hens. Yeah. But if we don't get to him, he's gonna round up some hens. I see. Or yeah. get shot. Cause I think he's. I think he's uh. Close to where, where the, the wood jogs out. Where that the property line is. Yeah, well, on this side, probably hundred yards. These crazy. aren't Osceola's now. That quiet gobble, he's actually a long ways off. <laughs> Those Osceola's fooled me because I sound about like that. And I moved forward another 50 yards and he gobbled and he was like within gun range. Yeah, he's gun range. And I'm like, oh, that was a mistake. Yeah, that's a big vest, man. That's like a suitcase. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice of this. Mr. Fox is what, like 90 something years old? He ain't toting that heavy thing around. It's heavy, but, but it's nice. Uh, I just wish they had a little better water pockets, but you know, it works. Or something for a bladder, you know? Yeah, you know, it that's what I'm saying. These, this vest, that's why I like this one. Yeah. The vest, are, they're templates. So like, I, I mean, I don't carry a box call and pot call and all that stuff. Yeah. And there's people that like it, but I like this this one here because you can... Module? And oh, yeah, everything in the inside, too. Like, I can remove this. This is my pot call. Oh, okay. I can take that out. Here's my striker, and I can take yeah. that out. Yeah. 
If I want a box call, I have a box call holder. It goes in here. I know. I, I looked at them, but I already, I already bought this one, and I was like, oh, I don't know if Mama let me buy another <laughs> one. <laughs> go over there you see the broken two trees yeah. at the tops I'd slide up right there get on that lip because we don't want him stopping on that next hill and we're over here yeah he's not that far away he's not that far that's why I'm saying I don't want booger in there if we oh no I mean he's far enough away we could slide up right there okay. I'm just saying he's he's within callable range now Crows are going. He's gobbling. Just on the other side of this knob right here. Just hurt him there. We're going to try to get up on the crest of this knob. Right up in there. And uh, he's well within calling range. So we should be able to pull him in. He doesn't, as much as he's gobbling, it doesn't sound like he's got any hens with him. But also, we got one goblin across the way over here too. So hopefully between the two we can make something happen. Yeah, we need to get in position. Yeah. I always get worried that they're going to shut up and we'll never hear them. Yeah. You're going to go around, go around this tree? No, just know, climb over, over that log, get up there, find a tree, sit down, and I'll start calling. as close as it did earlier. He's pretty close. I'm afraid to get too much farther around this hill. You yeah, need to catch our breath for a moment. Yeah, I believe we could call him in. But he's far enough away where I don't think we'll get busted get set up. Oh, look at that piece of pretty one. He's in that bowl right there. No, he's not that close. Listen to him one more time. Yeah, I think he's far enough away we could get there. Let's just move there quickly. Stand right here behind this tree. Wow. 
Wow, he's closer than that. Was he clucking like that? I don't that? know. I thought I was like, he's thinking no enough. Here for a minute, it looked like he was going the other way. Yeah, that's why. And then I saw his head coming through the woods yeah. and he was coming straight for us. Oh. Oh, man. Woo. So it's fitting the bag in the car out. <laughs> oh, look at the hooks on that one. Look how pretty it is right up in here. That? How pretty it is yeah, up in here. That's why he was here. Yes, sir. Oh, I did a number on him that time. That's a nice beard, too. Oh, that's a good bird. Good hooks. Yeah. That's a dog. <laughs> Man, it's, it's sweet redemption from this morning. What a relief, huh? Yeah. <laughs> These are the pearl black tip spurs. Yeah, he's going good, bird. Those are inch spurs. Yeah. That was going good, bird. I mean, that's a nine inch beard. Oh, it's probably a little longer now. Yeah, nine, nine and a half. Yeah. yeah good, a good two-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
when he started what I thought was putting, I'm yeah. like, you got to be kidding me. Yeah. And I just knew it was because we're standing behind that tree. And it's hard. It's even more difficult to be still standing behind standing, the tree. Standing, yeah. Cause Especially you're, on that angle, and calves are burning anyways from going, coming up that hill. Yeah, I've never seen the turkey do that. I, if he was walking away, I would say, yeah, he's putting. But, you know, it's, sometimes it's hard to tell a cluck from a putt with yeah. a gobbler, with a yeah. gobbler that is. With a hen, it's easy because they, you know, they have that, that loud pop. His was more of a pippy cluck. Yeah. I, at first, I thought he'd seen something or something. And like I say, when he, he was up high and then he started coming down low, I was like, man, he's seen something. And he's fixing a boogie. I, wonder if when he was I, just, I thought he was, he was moving away from us, but he actually was moving dead towards us. See, when you told me you saw him, I hadn't, I hadn't seen him. And, and then I heard him doing what I thought was putty. Yeah. And then I saw him go through a gap, and, but he wasn't going away or going broadside. He was coming straight, straight at us. Straight I'm, like, at us. I'm like, he's coming right to us. Yeah. Um, Something I did in Florida. That's just it. weird. But I don't care. He came right to the gun. He was, it was obviously he wasn't spooked because he come looking. Yeah. What'd you do? Took, wait, this is, you know, fox bass I picked up at the convention. I took my Osceola feather, taking my Eastern feather, and I'm keeping them in the, keeping them in the vest. And once, and to get a grand slam this are year you, and next year. Are you going to try and get a single season? No, no, not this year. I told myself I Eastern and Osceola this year. Next year, it's going to be Rio and the Merriams. Beautiful fan. Yeah, I, I love Easterns. I yeah. love them in the yeah. timber. I love their dark color. Man, and, and the way they gobble. And that, and you're right. I love to gobble in the hardwoods like this. You know, I mean, it's just... Yeah, you just oh. get those those western birds, as I call them. They sound like a farmyard bird. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? Yep. And these are like, oh, they're cutting right through the woods. That's a gift gobbler there. Yeah. We needed that after the, the, the debacle yeah. this morning. Yeah, I needed it. Well, I mean, you you did yeah. pour on your shooting. I did pour on my video, yeah. my well, filming. It was, it was all the debacle. <laughs> I mean, the setup. I mean, the gobbler went past us and then turned around, and came back, and then. Yeah, in hindsight, got, it's almost glad that you missed so we could come, come and put do something this. Yeah. better together. Yeah, and put this together. Better daylight too. And what we've we've hunted together what four four times now. And this is the first bird. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Persistence. Should have been it should have been two hours ago, yeah. but <laughs> saved, saved their legs a little bit.